Palites Podcast. Kyle here with everybody, as uh, in Pierre, Dimitri, and Jeremiah. We're all here. None of them know why, and it's going to be great. Any questions? Why don't we know? Well, it's what I call something I did at three in the morning. I had this brilliant idea, and I thought it would be fun. And I didn't really let anyone in on the whole master plan. But I'm going to host what I call a pointless game show. So I'm going to ask all of you the same question. You're going to answer the question. Then I'm going to add a little caveat, a little red flag to your answer. And then you're going to let me know if you're going to keep that answer. And I'm hoping that this just gets your creativity going and we get some funny content. So this is the official Would You Rather Superpower Game Show Panelist Podcast exclusive filler episode. Yeah. All right. Pierre. I got lost in the rules. Just go for the ride. Would you rather have no. heat vision or icy cold breath? Heat vision. Dimitri, it is Pierre's turn, but that is fine. <laughs> we'll acknowledge okay. your response. You all will be answering the same question. I'll go with heat vision as well. Icy breath, baby. Icy breath. All right. So Pierre's icy breath, Dimitri and Jeremiah are heat vision. Now, you've been granted these superpowers, but you have a last minute option to change them out to the other choice. Your heat vision feels like you're being pepper sprayed anytime you use it. Your icy cold breath instantly makes you catch a cold. Which would you oh, rather have? Sticking with heat vision. I'll go to heat vision. You're going to go to heat vision? You can kind of get used to sensations in the eye. Right. If I had a constant runny nose, I'd want to kill myself even more than I already do. All right. I'm going to mark not for kids on this episode. Good job, everyone. You've all received a point. That's it. So that's how this game's going to go. Well, here. I'm going to eat another Jolly Rancher. A little quick ASMR segment that I added in. I didn't tell you guys. Next question. No. Speed or flight? I'll say flight and wait for the caveat. Speed. Oh, flight. So we have Dimitri running fast and you two flying together holding hands. I can show you the... So super speed. Every time you run, the moment you stop running, you vomit everywhere and all over yourself. No matter what. And if you didn't eat that day, just stomach fluid just all over yourself. So every Ew. time you try and get somewhere quick, you're showing up covered in vomit. Flight. You fly very slow. So I'll it's basically floating <laughs> and you also descend very slow. So like say you're like, oh, like I'm gonna go to the roof. It's gonna take you like ten minutes to get there. I'm good with it. Yeah, I'd rather do that than be covered in throw up. But that one's at least productive. Think about it. Like you could actually do something with the flight. What are you gonna do? You're gonna take a half an hour to get to the second floor? That's useless. It might take me three hours to get to the top of a building, but I'm gonna enjoy the view the whole goddamn time and not puke when I get up there. You're going to piss yourself yeah. by the time you get up there because it's going to take you 10 hours. That's even better. I can pee on people. That'd be the best part. No one will know it was me. I have a question yeah. to the caveat. Mm -hmm. Constantly. It's the same thing. Like, there's no way you won't smell like vomit and, like, feel the pain of vomiting. You don't get used to that. No. But you can always vomit into something, not just on yourself. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But, like, you still, it'll hurt. A mask. <laughs> I'm imagining it as, like, Mr. Freeze, like, his type of armor, where he just throws up into his armor, and he's just, like, running around. Oh, I like that. Like a vacuum system? Yeah. Like a space suit. Do I have yeah. to be a superhero yeah. with the speed? Or is it just no, that my own, like, thing? You could do whatever you want with it. I could do whatever I want. I like with. being the slow floater, though, and you're just, like, floating around. You could even shit on people. Imagine just dropping a poop on someone. Again. That's a superpower in itself. Not for kids. <laughs> I will I think, shit on birds. I think I'll they keep shit it. shit on me, I will <laughs> shit on birds. I think I'll keep it. And, you know, I think I'll just deal with the repercussions whenever I need to. Because it's not like a, oh, like, I gotta go to the store. I have to run to the store. Right. Okay. I just use it when I need it. So I guess I could answer too. So far, I would say yes. Heat vision and vomiting after running fast i think those two are the most productive although the consequences i think, I severe. think you only chose super speed kyle because you've never been fast in your life <sighs> damn here we go <laughs> Jeez. here we go i'm gonna have right. to disagree with you there because i did take track with him he was fast at one point in his life not so much now Let at some point in his life defend myself i believe i am still fast it is just my caveat in real life would be do i survive after running so you already have that you're really fast and you probably will puke at the end of it yes nice. you're all over yourself but you oh, so then why do you need that you float. get both powers yeah because floating imagine you just float oh, up and, and then it's like oh shit a plane you can't move out of the way you just are like don't float that high drift. yeah you don't have to know your limits high. you never you know drift low enough where your shit can actually do some damage you guys or are really high and shitting and pissing see i'm thinking that way like if i have to go the speed could save me the floating if i have to go i'm stuck in the air everyone's gonna witness something bad happen and that could be part of it it's like oh what's that up there and then 
Devastated. We have the shitty six o'clock news. Mm. Next question. Oh. Time travel or dimension hopping? Everyone shout out your answer. Time travel. Dimension hopping. That's dimension a smart answer hopping. for you, Dimitri. That's a smart oh, thank answer. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. Racism. Yeah, there's really no other one I could pick. The issue with time travel is however far you've traveled time wise, like the amount of time traveled you have to remain there before i answer whether i'm gonna switch my answer what the fuck's the dimension caveat <laughs> so with the dimension whatever world you visit when you leave everyone dies so essentially you are a dimension killer here's my thought that's pretty problem. cool here's my thought right. if i go back to the 80s for mm -hmm. the internet and i get ahead of everyone else when it comes to what's coming up mm -hmm. i can make a boatload amount of money and in 40 years i will still be able to enjoy present day stuff mm -hmm. with money right versus but you'll have age and then as i'll soon have as age yeah but pops you're gonna pop back i'll pop back right so say you go back say you go back even 10 years right you then have to live those 10 years and then you're popping back so it's like cool you've done all of that but now you're like 10 years older i'd probably just go back to the early 80s make money just live it out and live it right. out and be okay and dude i'd be a fucking servant <laughs> i would think in that mindset of like just for financial purposes like yeah oh let's see what the lottery numbers are and just go back one day you only have to relive one day and then you're set for life fuck I didn't even think <laughs> right that was the trick to beat my little response here but yeah so jumping dimensions you could go somewhere really cool and love it and be like i don't even want to go back i want to stay here but like if you do want to go back and like visit what, your real like world? if you would leave the initial dimension is that first one gone like just yeah. i'm gonna be a dimensional hopper i can't no. go home ever no like there's no going back so it's like you could love it so you have to keep trying to find a new home pretty much so it's like if you really hate it here it's a good choice <laughs> i grew up with cable i could do that maybe just commercial <laughs> i like the idea of it i feel like i would eventually turn into almost like a galactus figure like people would know like oh no He's come to our dimension. Like, don't like piss them off. Different universes <laughs> will, will like come together. Like, they'll make like a team to like try to stop me from like dimension killing. I'm oh. purposely dimension killing. Like, I'm not gonna stop. Like, I'm just gonna keep going until I guess, become like a deity. I guess that's my question. Do they know? Like, is there proof through each dimension? They know that like you're gonna kill it if you leave. I'm gonna make that a known thing for me. By the <laughs> way, when I leave, it all fucking goes away. Don't piss me <laughs> off. I would say no. <laughs> when I burst through the clouds it's gonna say like five days or something like that and, and i'm gonna come floating in on like a saucer <laughs> citizens you have five days to make my decision i just and love then, the no. idea of you yeah. going to a dimension where no one looks human-like and you're like a specimen to them mm -hmm. and you come in saying oh i'm gonna kill all you guys if i leave and they're like do it that's the way my brain went i'll just kill them immediately i wouldn't even think about it then well like, all right PRC's God. one ugly Next woman. Out of here. Yeah, it's just a very lonely life. The whole concept was both of them are making you leave something behind or lose something, you know? I'd paint my whole body purple and I'd just <laughs> float around and so I'd be naked body. on a little saucer. Thanos Manhattan. Yeah. It kind of, yeah. So I'm naked, I'm on a saucer, I'm floating around, and I'm purple. That's all there is. Maybe I have a staff. Maybe I have a staff infection. I think you and Jeremiah are just taking the villain route, honestly. Shitting on people and just destroying as much as possible and self-gain. I love it. Yep. I consider myself a good person. I do. I feel as though I am in real life a good person. I know for a fact, though, if I had a superpower, I would be a villain. I 100% would. That's a fact I came to terms with years ago. Like, if I just had the ability to teleport, motherfucker, I'd be a villain. I've been playing the Hogwarts game, and I can't tell you how many times I've tried to use Vata Kedavra <laughs> on everything. <laughs> Teacher walks up to me, Vata Kedavra. Like, it doesn't work, well, unfortunately. Teleportation or duplication? Always teleportation. No matter what the superpower is, I will always pick teleportation. I don't care what the caveat is. Duplication could be I could fuck myself. I'd still choose teleportation. <laughs> I don't know why that's positive. <laughs> But okay. Very concerning what you jumped to instantly. Dimitri, <laughs> what are you pondering over there? Duplication. Mm. For the sheer fact Same. you could fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah, no, just it. you would have so many of yourself. You can repopulate. No, you can't repopulate. I know the Take, weird one. <laughs> not repopulate, but like replace, if that makes sense. So you want to destroy the world and just have it be a bunch of you? <laughs> That's like, a possibility. Just a ton of Dimitri uh, uh, around? Yeah. A ton of Dimitri and, and, and then I'll hop the dimension and I'll kill said. all of myself. <laughs> okay. Pierre, what is your choice? I want to duplicate myself. Okay. Now, I'm assuming you can duplicate yourself as many times as you want. Is it Madrix duplication or just straight up duplication? Like, they have my same mindset. Yeah, so... So say Madrix, I make two. they all have different personalities. 
No. So they're all the same. But when you duplicate to make another duplication, they have to duplicate. But like, so it's like a Mr. Meeseeks situation. Yeah, but you have the power, essentially. Well, I'll tell you the caveat. It'll make more sense. But you have the power to make them duplicate. So when you teleport, you show up naked and you're completely knocked out for a few hours. Good with that. So it's just he like if you're trying that. to do anything cool, it's like you got to plan three hours ahead to wake up somewhere. And you can't take anything with you. So you just completely ass naked, no phone, no nothing. I yeah. look like Terminator, literally just popping out of nowhere naked. So Hell. I would only teleport to places that were relatively private. So I'd have the time to recover. And like I can plan if I teleport into a like department store dressing room. That isn't super far away, so I'm not out of it forever. So I'm guessing the distance determines the amount of tired or out of it you are. Yeah. yeah teleport fair. to a department store not super far away in the dressing room. Wake up naked. Grab shit. It's got to be you know, a phone store nearby. You're a thief. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I said if I had superpowers. So uh, the problem with duplication is that after a few short hours, they try to kill you. Oh. And the whole point of the next one duplicates, it's like a domino effect. So one by one, it's not like an onslaught. They're not going to like team up, which is a good thing. But the more duplications you make one by one, they're going to just start showing up over and over. So if you're like, I'm going to get 10 of me and get all of this done and go rob a bank. Well, within the next 10 hours, it's just one by one trickling in to kill you. And the only way to stop them is to kill them. And then so you wait, have to like murder so the bodies. You make a duplicate and mm -hmm. the duplicate eventually wants to kill you, but you can't make another duplicate. That duplicate can make a duplicate and the second right, duplicate wants to kill you or the so, first duplicate. No, you. So it's just like, what the fuck? You know, why? Yeah. So that's the caveat. Endless army against you. Yeah. That sounds useless. I'm going to go back to teleportation. Now, my okay. thing that I would do is I'd paint myself. Why are we going <laughs> back to this? I would paint pants on myself so now when i teleport I, it just looks like go i'm wearing slacks i gotta go back to duplicate real quick i make a duplicate i kill him before he makes a duplicate can i make a duplicate again mm -hmm. okay so you'd be starting from scratch God. right it, the whole idea of it is it's a domino effect so like you need one to make another one and that you would keep be going incredible stress relief to kill myself but still be alive wow okay <laughs> dimitri will you be showing up naked oh <laughs> shit no i would just think like if i can just stay ahead of myself you know, what's that movie with Bruce Willis and Jumper? Yeah, you just gotta stay ahead of yourself, kind of. Okay, I agree. Deal. I think teleporting is the way to go. I just think it's gonna get like very confusing and turn into a major headache if you just keep trying to make versions yourself well, and you lose track of who's who. And it's like, all right, you have an hour before you're murdering me. You have two hours before you're murdering me. It just turns into a headache. Right, but it's the life you chose. And then whoever kills you takes your place, and they start over. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's life, isn't it? Technically, I don't know. All right. Next one, a little less complicated. Strength or healing factor? Is it like healing factor you live longer? No. Nope. Oh, then strength. Yeah. Yeah. Strength. yeah, I think strength. Healing factor. So with strength, anything over 100 pounds, you shit yourself. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so you can lift a car, but you will soil your pants. <laughs> I just won't wear pants. Yeah, I'm good to see strength still out. <laughs> so you don't soil them? Yeah. I don't know how everything's going naked now. I don't know where this <laughs> went. So healing factor, to get it to work, you have to rub peanut butter on the wound. Like, it's not you that's healing. Peanut butter heals you. Oh, done. I love peanut butter. So, like, you have to carry it. You have to, like, leave a note around your neck. Like, if I'm near dead, please rub peanut butter on my dying body. I'll come back. No, I'd carry a little necklace or something of peanut butter. Right? I love the I idea of that better. being a thing, but then falling in love with someone with a peanut allergy. That would be tough. Yeah. Keeping our answers. Oh, yeah. I'm yes. definitely keeping the super strength. If shitting myself is the worst of it, I'm great. You got to go be a superhero. You just wear a diaper. Makes yeah. sense. Nothing like a shower can't fix. That's true. I'll have developed special pants to absorb the poop and let it drain down the leg or just burn off into the air so I smell like smoke instead of shit. Mm. I smell like burnt okay. shit for like a second and then I'm good. All right. Let's see if this one is as confusing as the one before the last one. Invincible or immortal. Neither are good if the caveat is you still physically look like you've taken damage. Like, the immortal, but you still age. Like, I'll live to be 200, mm. but I'll look 200 is not good. Or I'm invincible, but if something breaks my fucking face, the face doesn't heal back to what it okay, should have so looked I'll like. I'll correct you with those. So invincible, you take no damage like Luke Cage, no, not a scratch. Immortal, you kind of like tap out at like 30-ish. And you basically look 30 to 40 for the next, like, 50,000 years. 
Like you hit like an adult stage and you kind of get stuck at it for a moment. Immortal then. Immortal. Invincible. Invincible. So Ooh. invincible, although you take no damage, whatever it is that would have damaged you hurts five times as much. So you stub your toe, you literally like pass out from the pain. No damage, but you're literally just like fucked for the whole day. You feel the pain, but you can survive literally anything. But from the pain, you're not going to want to. Mm. But you mm. live and age normally. Immortal. I'll switch. Immortal. <laughs> the longer you live, and this is not a fat joke before you come at me, the bigger you get. So although you don't age, the aging stops. You just larger until you're galactic size, until you're planet sized. Oh, so basically yeah. it becomes. Oh, well, hold on. Wait. Invincibility. You feel all the pain that you would have felt regardless. And immortal mm. has no downside. Immortal. Well, the downside <laughs> to immortal is inevitably you will be so large that you will be alone because there'll be no other living thing your size and you'll just be getting bigger and bigger and bigger forever but by the time you get big enough most humans will probably be dead anyway but yeah. you're just big and lonely that's okay. hungry because there's nothing to eat but like asteroids again gonna be naked and purple for this one too but you live forever so like eventually you're just like floating in space. You're bigger than stars, so it's like nothing. You just there's nothing. Oh, yeah. American pie to the sun. Okay. I mean you'll feel the pain. <laughs> you won't die. <laughs> I'll just start eating planets. Yeah, yeah. Until you run out and you're so big that I'll planet... be a planet devourer. Yeah. Until I, I should coin that. That's a good name, right? Planet devourer. Yeah, that's not like a... that's definitely never been used. Okay. Telekinesis or a power ring similar to Green Lanterns. Telekinesis. Power ring. But I want to choose where I put the ring. Power ring. One telekinesis and two power rings. The telekinesis only works on food. So all you can do is bring food to your face. You just, I'd still I mean, take it. You can like drive by and just like suck Taco Bell out as you drive down the road. Yeah. And, like, just, can you also day, like... throw it? Yes. You can throw yeah. it. The power ring is similar with the food theme. The constructs can only be things you ate that day. Oh, awesome. So that'll go great for where I want to position it. <laughs> is it only for you or is it for others? Like what you can make? Yeah, like I'll give it to them. No, like it's not edible. It's <laughs> oh, just, wait, yeah. did you go to a buffet here? <laughs> yeah, like feed the needy. Is that a possibility to do with it? So essentially both powers are useless. It's just which one would you have more entertainment with? Because, oh, like, definitely telekinesis. Like food not off useless. people's plates mm. while they're in the middle of eating it would be the <laughs> most fun thing. If I'm making anal constructs, no. how is that no. a bad thing? The construct has to be... <laughs> no, 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 no. You said what you've ate. That is not the definition definition of eating if we're oh, wow. being literal no i mean the rings in my ass and i'm shooting laser beams out let's see what did i eat today so i ate a burrito so mm -hmm. now i float in there have a burrito flying out of my ass a little burrito construct i could come in and like hit a building with the giant burrito See, I just definitely pictured a construct of a chocolate starfish the way you started the whole thing. Okay, next question, everyone. Animal transformation or wings? Oh, animal transformation, by far. Animal transformation. What was the second one? Just wings. Just good old-fashioned wings. My guess is the wings you can't fly. Yeah, yeah, animal transformation. Animal transformation. So unanimous for animal transformation. Okay, so having the ability to transform into an animal makes it so that you always smell like one. No matter what form you were in, you smell like a farm and like a pile of shit. So your whole life <laughs> you just smell like shit. So I get to just change it to animals now. Cool. And yeah. the wings, which, you know, if you'd like to switch to them, they're normal wings. They just don't have feathers. So they're like human wings. So it's like skin and flesh around bone. And it kind of looks like ball sack skin. So it's just like they're really fucking gross. Like they work just fine, but they're really fucking disgusting looking. And obviously mm. you can't really hide them. The ability to turn into a fish is way cooler mm. than being able to fly with ball sack wings. Okay. Um, I didn't think about aquatic. 70% of this planet is water. There's no perk to having the wings. You just fly. Yeah. No, oh, no that's okay. okay. They're very now visible. You, you can't like cover them up with like a, no. like a tarp. Nope. People point at you and laugh. Okay. I would do the wings. Now hear me out. I would paint them black. <laughs> Maybe put like fake hair on it. To make them look like bat wings. So I don't know how your solution is body modification, like in everything. It's like, no, they're going to look like ball sacks. You can't fix it. I'm sorry. Can you <laughs> no, get them I tattooed? Get, get the it. wings tattooed. I mean, I guess it's just going to suck really bad because it's like stretchy, gross skin. It's not going to be a fun process. I'd still choose animal transformation. Just the I'd idea paint, of like being a shark. And I would wear a costume. I would paint them black. I'd wear a costume and I would become like almost like a Batman, but like in real life. Mm, you'd embrace it. Okay. So the last one, mind reading or invisibility? Invisibility. 
mind reading. Invisibility. Okay. So I don't need to know what's on your mind. Mind reading. <laughs> You ever hear that song where it's like do 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 do? Careful, we're gonna get demonetized. Never ever in my life. So just think of like the worst, horrible, most awkward, like weird mouth noises you can make, where like your tongue is out of your mouth and you're like squealing, right? The most embarrassing, like Pierre, give me something. Just give me some weird. Yeah, you got one on tap, Pierre. Bob. So for the whole duration, you're mind reading. You're conscious of mind reading, <laughs> but your body's doing whatever kind of weird fucking noises. And I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, what are you doing? And then when you're back, you're like, you are the thief. And they're like, who gives a shit? What the fuck were you doing? The problem with that, yeah, it's like you start, and then everyone right. just thinks, what the fuck is he doing? So that's all you're reading. You have to read yeah. longer to where their mind kind of goes back to like, oh, yeah, I stole that. So it's a whole thing. And you have to see the person to pull it off. Now, the invisibility, a random body part is still visible. Oh, this is yeah, yeah, I'm sticking with the visibility. <laughs> Something's floating around. It could be a hand, it could be a finger, it could be something worse. But we something is it. always visible. No. Do we choose it or it's random every time? It's random every time. Uh... You can't like refresh and like keep trying to turn it on and off to get something different. Like it's gonna be that one for the day, and then the next day you'll have some other body part. See, I would specifically choose my ass cheeks and like just have those bouncing around. I well, feel like it'd, be, it'd be one ass cheek. It can't be both. Yeah, it can't be both. Just one. Well, I would hope for both. I would hope for both. I'd like stand in front of mannequins. You look at the mannequin, you look at the clothes, and you're like, are those two ass cheeks? Why <laughs> are they so hairy? Yeah, like just two little cheeks just sitting there. No. I would still choose the invisibility one. It'd kind of be a lot easier. I mean, if you just see a nose floating, it, you would have to do a double take. There's that aspect of it. But also, just, like, how cool would it be to, like, fake haunt someone's house just floating eyeballs and like they're taking photos and shit and we're like look at my photoshop no but yeah i have to agree i think invisibility is the better way to go you might get lucky one day and be like you know like just a finger it's pretty easy to hide a finger it doesn't sound right what if you what if you tell the person i'm going to read your mind now don't mind the weird the thing door. i'm about to do i'm just reading your mind think of a number between one <laughs> no it doesn't work i don't know yeah yeah. That's it. All I got for you. That's the would you rather. Now, can I come up with 10 more in a year from now? Maybe. What if we took all the powers that we pick, make one hero? Well, obviously a villain for most of you. I think Dimitri is the only one that's kind of thinking only about fucking himself. That was basically the only one who seemed to It was himself. taking over the world on like a oh. granular level. There's no sex involved. Out of all of them, if you could only pick one, which would be the one with the caveat? Teleportation. Okay. Dimension Thank hopping. You. Okay. Just destroying things. Okay. But I mean, if you find one you really like, you stay. And if you get caught doing something you're not supposed to, wipe out the whole planet. I like it. Okay. Dimitri, which one would be your final and only choice? Of like the ones I remember? Shit. I guess. Yeah. Dimension hopping. Mm. Dimension hopping. So one of the reasons why I've always been fascinated with teleportation, to like get in a fight with someone, go to punch them and teleport behind them and punch them in the back of the head. With the mm. caveat that you have is you end up naked and passed out for a second determining how long you go how far you go is how long you're passed out for teleporting above someone in a fight where you just fall on them naked and then you're good to go god golden i mean yes all day but you're also asleep for a few hours well you said how far you go determines how far you're asleep yeah if i give it a you. foot yeah or two feet i'm probably out for 20 seconds hits your face it's gonna take you longer than 20 seconds to actually react to that so that's where the real truth is. that's what you really really would like all right so if we were if we were doing pierre's idea here of making one hero with little issues that go with it let's say what does superman have flight strength vision and breath what else has he got uh, so five yeah which five yeah. would make a good combo that wouldn't make this hero slash villain completely useless because everything he tried to do would stop him animal transformation dimension hopping invisibility teleportation and then invincibility. Hmm. None of them really conflict with each other. No. So that works. Or the right. immortality, even though you're growing, you can jump between the dimensions and so on and so forth. But the, the invincibility, I feel, is the best of like turning into a dolphin in another dimension that no one can really hurt you and mm. occasionally you can go invisible to where the only thing showing is your blowhole that'd be cool okay i like it i would definitely say invincible and teleportation are like a given like have to have it but then hmm i don't know if the invisible i guess the invisibility is worth it but i think i would still throw in something basic like strength and the flight maybe both of them just because being invincible with those two 
you could basically in the world you live in right you're thinking more like let's hop galaxies and i'm thinking just in the world you're in a lame version of superman although you're the lame version you're still invincible so it's like whatever you know like you'll still win it's just gonna suck and take a while because you know you're like shitting yourself here and there. <laughs> so All right, so I, I need you to read out the choices, and I'm going to tell you exactly what my superhero would be. All right, we got heat, vision, cold breath, speed, flight, time travel, dimension hopping, teleportation. Okay, hold on, hold on. You went too fast. Cold breath. You want cold breath. Cold breath. So actually, you just made me think of something. If you did invincibility with heat vision... That would be really fucking bad because you can't turn invincibility off. So it'd be like you got pepper sprayed for like just days on days of just using a little bit. So invincibility actually makes everything bad. Everything you try and use, it would make things bad. Like super strength, cool. Like you can lift a car, but the weight of the car and your fingers is going to hurt a little bit. So what was like, the issue with ice breath? I forgot. You get a cold. Heat vision. So heat vision. Okay. So then speed yeah, or flight. Yeah, can't be taken out. Flight? Yes, I want to move slow. That was the thing. I definitely wanted to move slow because it's like more menacing when I'm coming at you in purple. Like in Dune, so, when the, the emperor kind of like floats around. I don't know. I never saw it. But reference, Dimitri. If I have heat vision and I could duplicate, am I the only one that has heat vision? Or no. all the other memes? I would say everyone has the same powers. Fuck. I was gonna say oh, that's no. a quick solution to a <laughs> small right? problem. I'm also, good. what if your duplications goes in dimension hops and you're in the dimension? <laughs> that's it. You're done, and they're the new replacement of you. I will leave, and it will oh. all it would all disappear. Not if they leave Unless first. Unless you all dimension hop at the same time. They are right, just do be nothing, this. and then you just There's keep going. Left. You wipe all timelines and dimensions in one. Yeah. Time. Yeah, I would say there's um, some can't cross over. No, so far I'm good. So heat vision, flight, strength. Flight. No, what's the other one? What? Dimension hopping? Yes, dimension hopping. Okay. Always always that. Always that. No, okay. what's the next one? We could do a little teleportation duplication, strength no, or healing factor. Teleportation, okay. Because I'm already painted purple, so this is perfect. Okay. All right. Strength or healing factor? Healing factor. Okay. So you're not painted purple, you're just covered in peanut butter. You're just constantly naked. <laughs> Yeah, I'm down. I'm floating, down. Just a floating peanut butter covered man who pops in and pops yeah. out. Yeah. Ice is you once in a while. Okay. All right. Yeah. I don't think we could drag this on any more than we already have. At least 20 minutes of content, I believe. Penalized podcast. Penalized podcast. Pierre finds ways to make fun of me and mock me subtly in every episode, and I'm just starting to catch on. Damn. So, like, the last episode, I kept going, mm hmm, mm hmm, and then he started doing it. <laughs> and it was when I was rambling. So, he clearly was just like, uh huh, uh huh, shut the fuck up.